Thank you. Good evening. This is June 16, 2015. The planning board is now in session. Make Minutes of the meeting. Let's make a motion for the minutes. Second. Motion made by Pat, seconded by John. All in favor? Unanimous. One abstention. Oh, one abstention. Oh, sorry. One abstention. Babe, my nanny abstained. Uh, 81P plans? No. None. Uh, continue review, amend site plan 120 to 128, Medway Street, Milford Plaza Association. So Associates. Good evening. My name is Ryan Bianchetto from Allen Major Associates. We are here talking about this project just two weeks ago. We're here before you with some revised plans and reports per uh, your request to directly address the concerns of the planning board. Here with uh, attorney Joe Antonellis uh, representing the owner, uh, RD Management. Uh, so you've received. Before you, before you get going there, did sure. you get the comments from Bonnie, our engineer? Just a few minutes ago. Just a few minutes ago, okay, because they're going to read them into the minutes. That's fine. Okay. So our, um, our uh, Bonnie Reese, our town engineer, she's unable to attend tonight's meeting, but she has the following. Uh, 120 to 128 Medway Street, Milford Plaza Associates. The issue related to the drainage system have still not been resolved. If the site plan is approved, it should be contingent upon replacing and improving all damage on a non-functioning drainage structure, including pipes, catch, catch basins, and drain manholes. All replacement structures should meet the current town standards. 400 East no, Main Street. No, 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 just one at a time. Oh, just, oh, just oh one. On each and every, yeah. Okay, right. that's that's that one. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. I was ready to move on with all of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what she has to say. Before I go into my presentation, would the chairman and the board like to, um, can I provide a response to that? Yes, you can. Uh, so we agree with that. Uh, we are working on those strange issues like we talked about the last hearing. Since the last hearing, we have had a CCTV inspection, just got the results last Friday. So uh, what we're doing is looking at that information. We're going to work with Vani. We're going to provide her the video. We're going to work with her to address her comments. That's all part of that Conservation Commission uh, purview in terms of meeting the 10 stormwater standards. So. We're fine with uh, if the board is interested in approving the site plan, making it contingent on uh, the drainage uh, updates. We haven't finished looking at the video yet. We're just getting into it. I would say final, final. Right. I don't want to provide any background until we've really had a chance to look at it in full. Agreed, it would be premature. Okay, so you'll be working with Bonnie. You'll be back. Yes. And you'll be back. Okay. That's right. So we'll. We'd like to provide updated drainage reports, uh, sorry, drainage plans and reports and a whole response memo just like we normally would to conservation. That's not a problem at all. Okay. You may continue. Great. Uh, so in regards to the updated plans, uh, just a quick summary. I have black and white plans that you have in front of you. I can go through all the details, but I'm sure uh, your time is valuable and there's other uh, applicants before you. I'd like to just quickly go through them. Essentially, uh, most of the improvements relate to the driveways on Beaver Street, to the driveway on Medway, and some other site plan changes uh, to address some Conservation Commission concerns and other minor tweaks to the plan. But the majority of the, of the changes are on the layout materials plan, the truck turning plan, um, and then the traffic report that World Tech Engineering uh, put together to address the concerns of the planning board <laughs> from the last time. So starting with the Medway Road entrance, it was a request to the planning board to open up that curve on the right turn out. We have addressed that concern of the board uh, directly by opening that up, um, further creating an incentive for people leaving the site to really take that right. Um, we've also further painted out that island a little bit further, narrowing that width of the uh, exit aisle, the right turn out. And we've also added vertical granite curbing, which is a request to the board on that center island to further discourage people from making that left. So all those changes have occurred up on Medway on the current plan set in front of you. Second set of changes are on Beaver. Right. Can I just Go ahead. Go sure. I know obviously you can't prohibit them meeting if they want it, if they so chose to go over the curbing. But it's orientated because it's difficult to exactly tell. This looks a little 
more severe than you're, what you're showing. Yeah, your black and white plans are updated. This is, has not been updated. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, that's right. Good this, question. This looks a lot more in line with what we were looking at rather than what you're showing. So, I, okay. Correct. So, uh, in regards to Beaver Street, uh, we took a careful look. It was a request of Joe and the planning board to take a careful look at these two driveway instances in terms of safety, in terms of sight distance, in terms of stopping distance, in terms of the three lanes out of each. And we carefully addressed that um, in a traffic report by WorldTech and some updated plans and some work on site. If you've recently driven by the site since Friday morning, uh, the trees were cut down at this corner, as we last discussed, that was acted on in quick fashion. Uh, so we've taken out the visibility concern uh, at the northeast corner of the site. I was there today. I saw that. Can you, would you say it was vastly improved? It was, a big, yeah, there was a big improvement. There was an improvement, yes. There's still a couple of areas of the First trees there the, hidden from people going around but sure that's okay. I think it's fine yeah I'm just so that's an immediate improvement um, not on black and white plans but in reality on the right. site I today, today. Uh, and so world text uh, traffic analysis addresses that there's an exhibit that shows the exact site distance um, from a car exiting that street uh, and uh, Beaver Street so that was addressed uh, as well uh, those are the big the big changes again if you want me to go through all the details and the whole set of plans I can do that but I thought it would just be great to do a quick overview of the issues that probably are most important to you we've addressed the drainage um, mm -hmm. discussed that you know we'll be working on that with Vani now that we have an actual ins inspection video of the whole drainage system so that's that's the the big uh, summary um, again we're here before you for an amended site plan approval um, if it's possible and you feel we've addressed the planning board's concerns, what we'll be looking for tonight is a closure or uh, on that public hearing uh, with the condition that, as you had discussed at the top of the hearing, that we uh, coordinate and work with Bonnie and address that drainage uh, questions and we'll provide updated plans for that. But again, that's really more conservation related. So that's, that's the big summary from the top down. Sure, it all, it all ties together. I don't disagree. But. Okay, let me open up to the board. Is there anyone? Uh, Joe? Mm -hmm. Babe? Joe? I just had, looking at the site distance, which I think is fine, the only question I had was there was one tree that was remaining within the property that seemed to be in the site distance. Mm -hmm. And I'm just worried about, you know, I, I can tell right now you can see past it. Yep. I'm worried about that tree in the future in terms of, of uh, I think it's right in line with the site distance as the tree gets up. gets a little bit bigger or the leaves start hanging down. There's maintenance, which I just don't think is worthwhile. I just assume to see that tree removed as opposed to remain. So let's, uh, I think it's is it possible to address that concern? So this is an existing photo mm -hmm. showing the pre Clearing. So this tree is now gone. Mm -hmm. The next tr two trees were left, as mm -hmm. noted. Right. All this wood is now been cleared. Headlights. So looking from the side driveway, uh, approximately where yeah. you're stopping now, he's, he's already got the other one. The improvement, the, yeah. the improvement is this tree is now gone. gone. Those two are still there. You can see even with the cars coming right by, you can still see those cars. And now with all this cleared out, be straight past the corner mm -hmm. of the edge of the property. So I'd like to suggest, and I think if you go by, I would see a vast improvement from there. Yeah, the, not other, the, other, the other concern, if I may, is that you'll note from this perspective, a car would be much closer to Beaver Street in the proposed conditions. So we've pulled that whole driveway curb cut up, like we talked about, to increase our visibility. So to address your concern, I don't think those trees are really I think it's the second tree that I'm worried about and I'm not worried about I, I know today it's fine I'm not worried about today he's saying in the long term I'm worried about the long term and, and as you pull out on the driveway that's the one tree that as you look back actually gets in line I, the one that's the one that's in further I don't think is right. an issue because 
you know, as you look down here, I'm, I'm pulling myself out further. Sure. And there's one tree that sort of sticks out, and I'm saying, why does that tree need to be there? Yeah, so I think we can cut that down if that's if a that concern. That was my only thing. I was pleased that the we're also trying to bounce. Was, was above 35 degrees, uh, 35 miles an hour because I thought that's where it needed to be. So that's what I needed to, but I just don't want, I don't want there to be an issue downstream if that sure. tree gets bigger or the leaves start falling. So it's, it's the final tree. It's that, yes, that's the yes. That, 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 yes. I don't think that's a. The lower limbs on that could come off and would help. I just take the tree down. But but it becomes it becomes an issue downstream that I think we can just get rid of it. Not a problem. Get rid of the. Not a problem. It's done. Get rid of That was that was the only comment I had looking at the report. I was glad to see the that you had addressed the issue, so I had going to try to go through it. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah, I saw that today. Okay. So consider that done. That's so you're going to write that down so you can yep. consider that. Yeah, we'll put it on the plan as an okay. update. Um, that's minor. minor. Yeah, I think they did have a letter from Sue. I think that's all true. Joe, is that it? Yeah, that's all I have. Babe, babe hey, I think Do you have something? I just, uh, the sewer, did they get, we get a letter from the sewer. Is it possible to address that? Yes, question? it is. Please do. So we did. Uh, about a month or so ago, the sewer commission met. Um, they approved the site plans with the condition that any uh, grease traps were at least a thousand gallons, um, and that was the only condition, which they absolutely will be because that has that's a requirement of the state. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll provide a response letter when we respond to Vani's comments as well, and I'll respond to that just like I'm saying tonight that it'll be addressed. It'll be at least a thousand gallons. That's not a problem. I'll step in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the okay. letter was actually in a prior. Yeah, no. I yeah. I'm fine. You all said, John? Joe has something to say. He has three words. Waiting, waiting oh, to oh. breath with his three words. Wait a minute, he's on the clock right Sign now. the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I like mine better. <laughs> no, no, no. I like mine better. What's the pleasure of the board? Do I hear a motion? Do you want to speak, Joe? No, I just was. I I was hoping, I, on behalf of the applicant, to only say okay. that you know we would like to have the site plan approved tonight, but for the issues that Vaughnie raised, uh, because the camera uh, was very difficult to get someone on the site. They're so backed up, but we got someone there. Certainly address each and every one of those issues as they come, because if we could get the plan approved, we can then get it out for bid, and begin the process of really moving forward with the substantial uh, economic. Uh, impact that's going to be made to that facility and we'd like to get our bids out and bid packages ready with an approved plan again we'll we'll deal with the drainage issues as we go I you know Ryan is very well aware of the status right. of drainage here in town so <coughs> okay hey, you're welcome I'll move we approve the plan Gotta close the public hearing I close well, the public so hearing it's no, it's it's amended. Public. It's amended. It's amended. It's amended. okay John move to uh, approve the plan do I hear a second Okay. Second, Joe? Second. Approved okay. subject to finalization. Right, of right. So, uh, John I'm made. Some, I'm somewhat hesitant. I'd really like to see. I can tell you. I'd rather see. I'd be honest with that. Sure. I'd be happy looking. I mean, I have no other issues, but I would like to see what the drainage what, what the drainage looks like at the end of the day before I approve a plan. I, I, okay. So what's the especially plan? especially if there are pipes that are compromise that we may at that point in time say maybe we should do it a different way I think it's appropriate to have that on the plan so so I think if I may address I'm with that, you Joe if I may address that the uh, owner was here at the last public hearing and his comment was and it's my it's direction to me if the drainage sections need to be replaced say there's deteriorating rusted pipe there's big holes in it it will be replaced if there's a structure that's and, th and that's all going to be visible in that video. So uh, I understand. I understand that. But what I'm saying is, there's no doubt that that would happen. But at, at the end of the day, if if the design were, we're not going to make you replace the system if it's okay. But if the system is not okay, then there may be for us or for you a better way of doing that. And if that's the case, I'd like to have that on the plan that I approve, not later on. Uh, if I may address the board at that, the, the, the plans that you actually sign will be the ones that are approved by Conservation Commission, so they won't be the plans that you see tonight. We'll address all the concerns of conservation. We'll take that whole set of revised plans, give you one complete set which addresses conservation concerns, finance concerns, and has those updated drainage 
uh, items on it, and you can endorse that plan uh, in that signing block that's on the plan. Then, then it still doesn't matter because we'll sign those plans when they're ready to be signed, and if they're ready in two weeks, we'll sign them. There's no, I, I have no, I, you know, again, I have no problem with that being my only issue, but I don't, I don't, I don't see what we're signing then tonight. We're obviously not signing anything, so. No. Nope. I don't. I don't understand the issue of. I, I don't. Just to, just for scheduling purposes that might uh, help the board put it in perspective. July fourteenth. The Concom uh, will be hearing it for the first time so, in, uh, Thursday. Second. Second, second yeah. time Thursday. So they'll be discussing it Thursday, reviewing the, the, the proposed changes. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully they'll have reviewed the video by then and know what those changes will be. Uh, it's. Unlikely CONCOM will finalize anything this Thursday. Um, it's my understanding that it'll go at least until next month. Well, their meeting next month is two days after our meeting next month. Uh, so our only meeting next month, uh, just, just so July 14th. Aware, July, July 14th. 14th. And CONCOM's on July 16th. For whatever that's worth, that's, those are the facts of the schedules and how it would all play out. Well, uh, again, I guess I, I'll, I'll, I'll sit where I am. I don't have any other issues with it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to tell the applicant that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not comfortable until I see that to finalize the thing. But that's the only issue that I have it anymore. I'm, I'm glad that they, they've addressed the traffic issues that I had. Okay, so there's a motion on the table here. Um, John, motion to approve. To approve. Uh, did I hear a second? It's awfully quiet. It's awfully quiet. No, I'm with Joe. And then, uh, Hearing none. So, uh, respectfully, then, we will be at your next meeting. Will, um, yes. I can, I think from what I'm hearing, what I don't Getting mean that, to I say, the, I think I, I, the surface plan, let's call it, if I may, the surface site plan outlining the location of the structures, the position of the parking spaces, the entrances and egg, exits, that you're all comfortable with the with that plan, with the reno, uh, re, uh, with the renovations that have made to it, been uh, uh, and alterations that have been made to it, and uh, we can feel comfortable that when we come back to the next meeting, we'll be dealing solely with the drainage issues. Right. As far as mine. Yep. Thank right. you. Okay. Right. Well, then, thank you. I guess we'll see you on, the, see 14th, you on the 14th Bastille Day. Thank you. Oh, oh gee, you know everything. Don't you? I have another meeting that night. Then. Okay. That one for All right. Later, later. So. Okay. Okay. okay, so we'll see you on the 14th and Very good. Uh, address right. all the things that Bonnie and Joe are discussing. So okay. we'll be Thank fine. you. Sounds good. Thank I you. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you very much. It looks like a... Uh, it is a Subaru. Is it blue? They weren't saying that. Thank you. All right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, continue site plan review, 400 East Main Street. Uh, the free oh, building corporation has about. been continued, if anyone is here, until the 14th, is it the 14th? 14th of July. 14th of the July. So uh, the free building corporation uh, site plan review will be continued on the 14th of July. Next is the continued review at men's site plan of 154 East Main Street, World's Gym. <laughs> okay. What is that? I, know. I was going to say, is it, is it number No, see the way she did it. Number three is for that. Number six is this one, so put six. Six. This okay. Is actually, uh, and number two five. is what? That, this is five. That was five. Okay. So don't worry about five. That's gone. That's gone. Okay. Thanks, honey. <laughs> All set. Yes, I'm here. Hi, thank you. Um, 
you remember at the last meeting we uh, we looked at this site this uh, ended site plan for world gym this is the existing imperial uh, auto and uh, lastly was imperial partners mm -hmm. so we discussed um, traffic movements within the site and also trying to generate some green space and uh, the after several conversations back and forth with Larry and Larry talking to Vonnie, mm -hmm. uh, we've come up with this particular scheme. We've left the one-way aisle in the back is, is the way it is with the one-way parking. What we've done is we've opened up a, an entrance here onto Hamilton Street. Uh, so now we, and we've provided green space along Hamilton and along East Main Street. Um, and we've got uh, 114 parking spaces, which the applicant feels will, will be sufficient. He can live with that. So now any traffic coming in on East Main um, doesn't have to leave by East Main. If they want to go down Hamilton Street, they can go out this way and go down Hamilton Street. Mm -hmm. Anybody coming in this way can't find a place to park. They can, you know, they come in here. You know, so um, that's an improvement. So we've got so we've got another access makes it easier if traffic flow doesn't mm -hmm. doesn't force everybody out onto East Main Street. We know that. Was right. a concern of Joe's to have everybody going on this way, right. uh, rather than turn this around so that people coming in here to park and you find a space they got at the Hamilton Street they couldn't get back into the site. So that's right. Now, now you know, coming in this way, you can you can always get back into the site or get back out onto Hamilton or East Main Street. Uh, we've added uh, this increased the uh, green area of the site to uh, twelve and a half percent, where it was less than less than two before. So. I think you were being generous when you said less than two. Well, <laughs> yeah, it could, could be. Dandelions um, don't count properly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, this is this is what we've done. We've added some curb stops along in here because, like, uh, we weren't proposing any curbing here where they were going to create this little patio area. So we put a few curb stops in here. Put a couple right in here where this walkway we added. We allowed this pavement to remain and have it be a walkway. There's a big double door here that these even bring the cars in, so we might, you know, we can utilize that and. Um, we uh, we adjusted the handicap signs according to mm -hmm. the uh, Commission on Disabilities letter. And that's pretty much it. Now, Vonnie, uh, Vonnie makes just a comment that her previous comments were either directly addressed or uh, alternative proposed. She has no further comments. So, and I put the sewer letter in there as you well. Got, and I, we have the sewer can. letter. Yes. Now, Babe doesn't have anything to ask. Huh? Babe doesn't have anything to ask. <laughs> the sewer letter <laughs> is here. He will. <laughs> yeah, give them a second. They okay. voted unanimous to amend the site plan on 154 East Main Street. Bob, well, I assume the dumpster pad's right, right in that general location in the corner. I like this much better. Yeah, up in here? Yes. 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 You yes. just mark that. So I'd rather have them in a designated area than just randomly get moved around. Specifically, I'm not 100% positive that, based on your applicant's initial needs, but I understand that they weren't thrilled with, they had to take some parking. I, I just don't want to uh, run into an issue that there's not enough parking where you're taking parking spaces and, and using them randomly for dumpsters. Yep. Having so, it floating around. Precisely, <laughs> so I prefer to. Yeah. That I, that yeah. I, I have no comment. Well, At least with this uh, arrangement, uh, any of the customers that can't find a space in the main parking field in front of the building have Certain a way to get room. to the back and still come back into the site. Mm -hmm. Previously, the one suggestion had been make, the, as Bob mentioned, make the one way in the rear uh, going west. Well, if you do that, the only way to go is up Hamilton Street. Right. And I don't think there's going to be a very large percentage of people on that site that are going to have any need to go up Hamilton Street beyond that back entrance anyway. It's not true. Um, Someone who I'm sure lived up in and around my area. Oh, well, you can It would be much more, it would be a heck of a lot more favorable to take Hamilton than it is to sit on East Main, so. Well, you can't, you can't go. John, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking more like you, John, because right, right. God knows I'd have a heart attack if I went to a gym. <laughs> no, but at any rate, this this seemed to be a, a no, no, more I think it's a great. Okay, and the uh, Joe. Yeah, there's uh, two things. There's two things that I just looking real quick that and knowing the site a little bit is signs is the sign poles coming down. So you know, I believe there's 
multiple signs on this site, and I'd like to, to bring that into some sort of conformance. And the other thing I believe is I thought there was a flagpole that sort of was going to sit out in the middle here, so I assume that flagpole's coming down. Uh, the doesn't show on this the site. The flagpole's the flagpole. only showing one existing hmm? sign, Joe, in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I believe these other circles that, that aren't labeled are actually sign poles. I thought those they were lights. Those, those are lights. lights. I thought they were light poles. Those are light poles. No, no, he's talking in the green area. Here? Yeah. yeah. Those are lights. Uh, are those light? A light? That's a light. One know. of those, one of those, I guarantee you, is a sign. Well, it's it's a light pole with a sign off of the back, and then there's a white pole, which I think is the flag pole. Flag pole, sort of in the middle of the site. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. two, there's two poles out there that have. There's at least two on this site because there may be one on on the on lot yeah. 35 that has a sign. So that that's outside the lot. But I believe there's two sign poles out in the road along this site. I'd like to see one of those removed at least. So if the existing sign that's, that it says existing sign here is the sign they're going to use, that's fine. If it's going to be another one, I then you know. Still it, existing signs, yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, I just don't know which sign is staying where, and whatever one isn't, I'd like to. Yeah, I think that's labeled as removed. One. one and one. The flagpole, I think, oh, is, here it isn't, is. isn't showing. It, it is oh, showing. Too I just Joe, see it. Right. I just see it here on the left hand side. Where it says so I would, I, you know, I would assume that this existing sign, they would want to reuse this or put a new one up at that location, which would seem fine. But the other one, I think we should, I don't think there's a need for that sign. It, it's time that, that could actually come down. Yeah. The one closer to lot 35, Joe? Mm -hmm. That's my feeling. I'm not going to tell the applicant which one to take or not, but that, that would be my feeling. It would make more sense to, to me. But I, I don't think they, there's a need for two anymore, certainly along that stretch. The flagpole, I think, is in the middle of the parking lot, so obviously that's going to have to come down. I don't believe it's labeled here, but it's just something going forward that, you know, we just need to check on. I don't, I don't even believe the flagpole is usable anymore. I think the top of it's been taken down or was hit by lightning at some point. Mm -hmm. the, other, uh, the other detail on the plan is that the curbing along the east side of Hamilton Street, the new curbing, uh, is going to be asphalt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, which you know I, we discussed uh, either concrete or granite previously, yes. but just so you're aware that yep. uh, the plan is showing asphalt. Yeah, at but least we'll close it up. It, it, yeah, at least it's a, I believe it's a step in the right direction to try to bring this into a little more conformance. I, uh, you know, the rest of the things I think are fine. At least there's been some some attempt to get it closer to conformance. That was all I had. Okay, so you want to take care of that, Bob? Yeah, if you would. Oh, if, I'll if, make you know, a motion. Yeah. 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 yeah I, okay. I'll, I'll make a motion uh, subject to um, only having one uh, signpost. That was your only concern, Joe? Was the yeah, I, yeah I, I think the flagpole has to come flag down pole. based on this because I think it's in the middle of the parking lot, so I don't believe there's any way they could stay there. Yeah, again, forgive me. I, I don't show it. I don't see I don't it being see it shown here, here yeah. at all, so I'm assuming that. Yeah, I'll we'll have to check that old plans and see if we've got to locate it on some, but somehow it didn't make it onto this plan. And provided that the, the flagpole is not in the middle of the parking lot somehow. Sure. Yep. Motion made by uh, Pat to have one sign and to make sure that the uh, flagpole is no longer existing. Well, no, no. They can relocate they it. Can they can relocate it. They can put a flagpole someplace yeah. else. It just can't be can't in be the in. middle of the... Okay. I'm not going to go down that path if they can't flag them. If they can't, <laughs> okay. can't flag No, yeah, I'm not saying that. Sorry about that. No, yeah. no. That, okay. That's not what I said. Can be replaced. Relocated. Relocated. Just relocated. can't be in the, in, in the parking lot somewhere. Okay. Do I hear a second? Yeah, that was an approval based on those two. Yes. Yep. Second. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. You're going to be around in a few days? So you bring I, am. I am going to be around. Yep. I'll get you a mile out of Okay, Bob. <laughs> okay, Bob. Okay. You go to state as well? Sweet. <sighs> Number six, amendment site plan two 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 thirty five East Main Street Interstate Batteries resubmission. I have a comment here from Bonnie. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find it. Yeah. Want me to uh, read my report? Right here. All right. No, no. She got it. I got it. Okay. She's all done. Hmm. 
Well, her comments are fine. Yeah, they are. Thank you, Madam Chairman. The applicant requests amended site plan approval to allow for the construction of a 13,294 square foot addition to the existing commercial building on the subject property. The Westerly Building, Building 1, is to be raised. The proposed use will be retail, wholesale, vehicle, battery stored, and associated parking. This application is a resubmittal of the 12015 application that was subsequently withdrawn. Specifically, the two, a 2,375 square foot addition will correct, connect the existing Easterly building, number two and three, and a 10,919 square foot addition will also, be, will also extend building two to the west for the total building area of 27,767 square feet. The building expansions will accommodate retail and office space, as well as a wholesale storage area and interstate batteries. Northeast Electric will remain in its current location in Building 1. Adequate off-site parking is provided in two parking lots, and site access of traffic circulation is designed to separate the retail traffic from staff parking and fleet delivery truck and semi-truck access. The existing driveway, driveways are being narrowed and relocated to meet the current design standard. Also, the amount of open space will be increased from 22,220 square feet, 20% 20 to 47,773 square feet, 43%. All apical zoning and site plan requirements <laughs> appear to be met. Therefore, I recommend the amended site plan be approved, subject to the relevant departmental comments, respectively, our town planner, <laughs> Larry Duncan. <clears throat> Bonnie's comment, our town engineer, has made a GNH made additional revisions on, to the site and the septic system submitted for 225 East Main Street. After five rounds of comments and revisions, I recommend approval for the plan submitted June 9, 2015. And her previous two letters. That's are in her there previous too, letter. So. That's her previous letter. Yeah. And the Highway Department, I reviewed the above mentioned site and find it to be satisfactory. However, I would like to inform the applicant that the above mentioned section of East Main Street is under the jurisdiction of MassDOT. All roads opening permits must be obtained through their office. All trench permits must be obtained by the Milford Highway Department. The Fire Department, the Milford Fire Department has reviewed an amended site plan, submitted 235 East Main Street, requests no change. This is the Water Department. Now, the Water Department has a whole list. Uh, requests the following plan amendments. Only the wa Milford Water Company approved materials may be used for the project. Application for the water service will need to be filled out. Determination of water meter size will be done at that time. Milford Water Company specifications must be followed. A Milford Water Company inspector is required to for the project. The Milford Fire Department will determine placement of the fire hydrants. The Milford Water Company wa Milford Water lines must be laid in their own trench with no other utility. The trench are within five feet of the MWC water line. Tape tapping sleeves used to either be used will be either stainless steel tapping sleeves, or asbestos cement pipe, or mechanical joint tapping sleeves in cast iron or docile iron. Materials used for this project are two inch copper K pipe and six inch docile iron class 52. Off, the, off this line, fire lane can, can be reduced to four inches inside the building. Two inch domestic water line will be tapped off MWC water line on East Main Street. Older existing water services will be shut and <coughs> cut off at the water main and East Main Street and witnesses witnessed by the Milford Water <coughs> Company inspector. Pipe burying will be four and a half feet deep in 12 inch sand bed, three and a half feet compact gravel per specifications. All water lines within 10 feet of the sewer must be sleeved with a full bar of plastic pipe one size yet diameter larger and capped. All water lines will be chlor chlor chlorinated and pressure, treat, pressure tested 
by Milford Water Company specification supervised. All approved Mil uh, water company contracts can estimate the water service supervisor by the Milford Water Company inspector. Milford Water Company is a, is a MADPEP full compliant cross connection company. All building water lines are subject to to point or the use of cross connection and compliance for specification as part of the water as part of Milford Water Company conservation plan, no irrigation system of any kind may be connected to the Milford Water System. Respectively submitted Thomas Dugan, operational manager. Okay. Nothing sewer commission. There's nothing on the sewer commission. Well, oh, here it is. No they have no comment. They, they, have, no no they have no comment. All right. That was good. Okay. So, um, my understanding is is that uh, Peter Lavoie did speak to the water department, and we and the plans do address either by note or by changing to the plan all the comments that he had in his letter. Okay. Say the that again, Bob. The water department. The water department letter. All the comments have been addressed either by notes added to the plan or okay. the plan correct, you know, change to meet the requirements of, of the letter. Of the Milford Water Company? Yes. Okay. So, so this plan uh, is previously approved. Basically, the only, the only change, the only change that's come about is the fact that the, the existing building where Northeast Electrical is, that the interstate battery was going to use as part of their, their, their business, uh -huh. has a lease in place, which means they're going to be there for, for another year. So for interstate battery to go in and, and, and be able to function right away and be able to use the property, what they had to do was they had an addition, they had a small addition proposed here, roughly the same size of the existing building that, was, that you see here. So what they had to do was basically double that in size to get them to uh, a point where they need, like, like they need 20,000 square feet to just be able to operate. And then, then when they get, when they move out, they'll have the additional space if they need over 27,000 square feet. So the change has been, to connect these, this add to this building and this building with these two areas here, to to provide them with the 20,000 square feet, and the uh, addition of this, the addition to this building is in an area where pavement had previously existed and was was part of the other plan as well. So there's no increase in impervious area being proposed. The um, we have received our curb cut permit from Mass Highway. Mm -hmm. We did apply to them, and we have received that. So we do have that in hand. Um, and everything else is, is the same. It's same. Nothing, nothing really has changed. Septic still under the parking lot. Septic is 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 here. Yes, yeah. under the parking lot. Okay. Any questions from the board? Mm -hmm. Joe, Sorry. Babe. No. No. John. No. Do I hear a motion? The motion we approve the amended site plan. A second. Move move to uh, approve the amend, amended site plan by Joe. Second by John. Second All in favor? Yep. Unanimous. Yeah. I'll leave you. Yeah. All this paper. Yes. Okay. What's next here? Yeah. Moving right along. CBA special permit referral, 16 Claflin Street, Claflin Street, L.A. Blair House. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I want to rest. I got to rest off. Oh, all right. Get my bearings. Okay, CBA special permit, 77 Purchase Street, Consigli Family, LLC. He's got one more inning in him. I know. He needs to rest. That's it. He needs to sit down. Okay. Before he's called to play. See, Madam Chairman, the applicant <coughs> requests a ZBA special permit to allow for the creation of three lots from an original parcel that contains a, a three-family dwelling on 77 Purchase Street. The proposed lot configuration will retain a, a 33,229 square foot lot, lot one, for the three-family dwelling at 77 Purchase Street. Create a new 21,922 square feet single family building, lot two, fronting on Purchase Street. The plan will also establish a 1.98 acre interior parcel, parcel A, 
to be used in the to be used in conjunction with the future development of the adjacent land to the east that fronts Sumner Street. All applicant all applicable zoning requirements appear to be met. Therefore, a favorable recommendation should be forwarded to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Respectfully, Larry Duncan, our town planner. Okay. That's all this. Sounds good. Is there a motion? <laughs> all set. Sure. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Uh, John Fernandes, attorney, here with uh, Mike Murphy from the Consigli Companies and Mike Dean from Gary and Helen. Mm -hmm. For a simple overview of this, you can see its location is Purchase Street by the Purchase Street Market and Fountain Street, mm -hmm. um, Consigli Homestead property. Um, what you're seeing in terms of a division of property is actually consistent with an action taken at town meeting um, where the Consigli family secured a TIF from the town that was approved at town meeting. Yes. Well, when you go to the back of the lot past the yellow um, to total area, what's back there to the right where you see just a triangular piece of hash mark building is the granite building, which is mm -hmm. the Consigli mm -hmm. headquarters, mm -hmm. and where you see the somewhat L-shaped building directly to the back, that's the old ambulance building. Um, that uh, is also owned by Henry Consigli. So Henry and Phyllis own that big parcel that's outlined in purple. And today, that entirety of that parcel is occupied by the three unit building, lot, one. lot that's on lot one. Mm -hmm. So what are we asking for here? What we're asking for is the creation of a conforming industrial lot to the back that has where it says total acres. That, because the industrial zone doesn't require a certain acreage or a certain frontage or anything else that, that essentially is landlocked there, but the intention of the Consigli family is to merge that parcel in construction with where the ambulance building is and create a new office building mm -hmm. back there that yeah. will be part of the campus of the Consigli uh, companies that would be joined in campus style with the granite building that mm -hmm. was part of the TIF to create new jobs here and the like mm -hmm. so in order to do that we need to get the commercial piece industrial piece away from the residential portion so you see a residential line crossing the lot that residential line in front is RB mm -hmm. and in the back it's the IA so what the intention here is to cut the IA piece of it out create that as a conforming lot. On the um, residential piece, to the left, lot two, is a conforming single family residential lot, which would, in its size and frontage and width, meet the requirements of today's bylaw plus uh, in terms of area and be available for construction of a single family home uh, in accordance with all our setback mm -hmm. and side yard requirements. So why are we here? Mm -hmm. We're here because the three unit building is a non-conforming use. And so what is, what is it that we're changing and asking? Pursuant to set Article 3 of the bylaw, we're asking to alter the non-conformity by reducing the amount of land that that three unit building occupies. So instead of it occupying that entirety of land that's in purple, which is like about three and a half acres or three and a quarter three acres. Four. Yeah, it's three and a quarter acres. It would occupy 33, 000, approximately 33,000 mm -hmm. square feet. Now, in terms of a three unit, there's really no guidance as to how much should be occupied. If it was a two family, our guidance is 16,000 square feet. Um, and that's a three unit, so there's really no guidance. But just for your purposes of understanding, when that is called a three family, it's somewhat of a misnomer. It's really three units. There are two one bedroom apartments know, in there the area, yeah. and one two bedroom apartment. So the collective of bedrooms in that, in that building mm -hmm. is four, which would be the equivalent of a two family that you mm -hmm. might allow 
uh, under a special mm -hmm. permit. So right. if you drove by quick, you'd still swear it was a single family, family home. You would. Exactly. I, 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 so I've, I've done like that. It's not like it. No, it doesn't. It's not your typical. It never appeared, it or, appears to be. It, no, it looks yeah. like the single family home, and that's why it is a three car garage. Right, and the only and that's what's in there is just those. That's why it looks like a single family because it's really just one bedroom, one bedroom, and a two bedroom. And the garage in the back to finish it off. The reason we take and keep some of the land from the industrial with it is because the family wants to maintain that garage as a part of the three unit structure. Okay. The, the, uh, it's a big garage. It, it has been used as a contractor's garage in the past by mm -hmm. the Consigli family and to some extent Henry still uses it that way. Uh, but also the tenants park in there uh, mm -hmm. and Henry stores a car in there but he also stores equipment in there. All of the contractor type activities will stop, we'll stop. Okay. Um, in that building and it will just convert to a residential garage as a part of the three units. Okay. So I'm not sure, Mike, if there's any. There. What's that? I think the only thing that's in there is just one more. I, I, there actually may be a, a loader in there still. Henry has to, it's, he's like Dominic Afonso, their toys are their loaders, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, that's, that's, that's what right. they do. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, but that's it. I don't know, Mike, if either of okay. you have anything to add to, to what I just described. There's really nothing more unique about the site than that. All right. So uh, what's the pleasure of the board? I'll make a motion board? for uh, favorable to the I'll, I'll second. I'll second. I'll do something. Okay. Motion, made, made, motion made by Pat. Send a favorable to the ZBA. Second by Babe. All in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Good to see you, John. Well, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. You have the you have the other one. Yeah. You can stop because now it's Are you Bob's rested turn. enough? Oh, it's Bob's turn. Bob's second. Like a win. All right, Bob. Remember going there when Henry's father used to live there. That's not right. Okay, Bob. Henry's father. We're at number eight, right? <coughs> Correct. <coughs> yeah, special permit <coughs> referral to <coughs> Claflin okay, Street, right. Claflin Street LP Leia House. The applicant requested request ZBA to allow for an expansion on the Blair House building on the subject premise. Also proposes a revision to the previously approved off street parking lot to the rear of the property. The proposed building expansion located on Cena Hella Way will add will add floor area to the accommodated to converge the conversions of existing multi-bed bedrooms to single-bed bedrooms within the nursing home. This, there, there will be no increase in the number of beds. The proposed parking lot improvements will increase the number of off-street spaces and improve the drainage and stormwater recharge for the lot. The applicant zoning requirements appear to be met, although the site will be required, although the site plan will be required for the planning board Subsequent to the grant of a special permit for the ZBA, recommend a favorable res favorable report to the ZBA. Larry Duncan, our town planner. Okay. That's it. Um, John Fernandes here with Kyle Romano, the Romano family that uh, owns and operates this facility as well as a number of others around Massachusetts and the assisted living facility, which we've just opened. Uh, next door and the fence being, is beautiful being a bit yeah. restless they're into more activity <laughs> now um, and you know Jim Boudreau is the construction yeah. manager on projects so let me just try and give you a quick <coughs> overview of the, the plan and Bob can describe any of the site issues because this will be coming back for site plans so right. it's an opportunity to kind of take an overview of it and see if you have any questions about it um, you've seen this before you previously and the reason we're here Blair House, of course, is located on Claff Claflin, Cena, Hellaway. Right. Um, historically been here for certainly as long as I have. If not, how old is that building anyway? Do you know? Oh, I mean, it was Claflin So am I, Hill. but do you have any? Claflin uh, Hill. Yeah. You're not old enough yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> the facility as it exists today is in this gray area here that occupies this area inside this L. You've seen this. <laughs> in for a special permit and the reason we need special permit is because uh, both the Delta 
uh, I mean, the, yeah, the adult day health programs as well as the nursing program, nursing home programs are by special permit in this mm -hmm. zone. Mm -hmm. So we have to come in for any expansion. But you saw this before because there was a plan to take the Redden property back here, which they purchased and put a garage mm -hmm. back here, yeah. you might remember, yep. along with some parking and then expand the parking into this area that they, they also already owned. Mm -hmm. um, they're abandoning that plan because they've acquired two parcels right in here. Uh, 41 and 42, I think, on the assessor's maps. But it's this area right in here they've acquired. So rather than doing a separate garage back here and an expansion of the facility here, they were just going to incorporate the garage space into this building mm -hmm. and eliminate it because now they can do more parking out here, change the drainage to underground drainage as well. <coughs> so the plan is to do an expansion here because they need to expand the facility. The adult day health programs, very strong in need of expansion, just another wow. of the continuum of steps along the way to keep people Great. out of nursing homes, allow, whether it's home health care, uh, adult day health, assisted living, mm -hmm. you know, that, that whole continuum is taking us away from you either have to stay home or you have to go to a nursing home. Right. So this program is very popular. They want to expand the number of people who would occupy part of that on a daily basis. They also want to take and move to a more private arrangement with their nursing beds such that they don't have the doubles and that they can just have single rooms for everybody. So really? one of the floors, the very bottom floor, which is there are two, two floors below grade, and, and Bob can talk more about that, two floors above grade. The very bottom floor would be the garage space. I think the next floor would be the kitchen space expansion. Next floor, adult day. Next floor, nursing care. So that's what this facility does here. So that allows them to free up this area for parking. So that's the plan overview. Bob, I don't know if there's more you want to say about the site itself, um, but that's what we're asking for the special permit under the bylaw to expand into this area and to change this and expand into that. You've got a quizzical look on your face. No, I just have a quick question. Okay. That underneath will then be the storage for the vehicles, yes. the buses, if you will. Okay. <clears throat> Not that I enjoy stirring the pot, but I can't help myself. The problem that I'm, ha and I'm happy to see that you're <coughs> going to do that, but I believe right now some of the buses, from time to time, I don't go there enough to be able to tell you conclusively, but from time to time. I've seen that they're on another site, which is down off of Central Street, which fortunately they used for parking requirements for their sports facility. So I'm happy to see that they're coming back on site, I guess is my point. You said that they would be coming back to the planning board, so I figured I'd just give you the heads up that as long as they're showing on this site, I'd be much happier. Really? I don't know. I just said from time to time. Okay. I, I don't go there enough to tell you that they're parked there permanently. I'm not suggesting that they are. I'm just simply saying that, that I'm happy to see. I thought I put that in just the proper context when I said from time to time. Right. It'll, the layout of this lower level is, is going to be, the lower level is going to be slight, is going to be slightly larger than the other levels above it. You can see this dashed line. I think so the my area for the, for the is, as long as it's when you yep. come, come back, it mm -hmm. gets addressed. That's my only okay. point Fair of enough. We can show you that we can put 15 vans in this in this wow. location. So for, the, for purposes of zoning, yep. I, you don't need to show me this. Yep. I just thought because Fair John enough. asked, yep. Fair enough. I would give the heads up. That was it. Fair enough. Good point. That was my only thank you comment. Good point. Anyone else? Joe. No one else. Babe. Also. Babe, you want to do this one? Sure. I make a motion that we send a favorable recommendation to the zoning board. Motion okay. made by Babe. Yay. Put him, the, put him in the record. You must be exhausted at this point. Second. <laughs> second by Pat. Seconding one motion and making yes. your own. Uh, this is my first meeting in about a year. All in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Any other one? There's no B in here. Absolutely beautiful. See, if you want to put another one up on this one. I, 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 I would buy it tonight. Say you're going to. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. You see that entryway? Yeah. I love the entryway. The new blocks and everything. Yeah. Everything. I love coming around there now. It is.
very, very you say attractive. You the same that, was a, that was a <laughs> shot. It's a nice It's very design. attractive. It's, it's a nice really design. a nice and, and you know what? I think it's doing well. Um, and you're right. You see there. some work going on up and down Central Street and around yeah. the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think improving the area. Yeah, it looks very nice. It's nice. It's a wonderful improvement Thank you. for the Thank whole you area. Much. Thank you. Good job. Really? Looking well, John. Me? Yeah, you feeling well? All right, kid, you still have two more to go. <laughs> not sure I have what, to say hi to my I'm not sure what to John. say other than maybe you got to check those glasses. <laughs> <laughs> they look thinner. Well, that is true. There That's what I mean. There have been some pounds Yeah, there. I could tell. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's see, number nine has no, been right. continued. And number 10, continued discussion on the site sign, sign, sign selection. selection. <laughs> Did anything come back from the selectmen, Larry? No. We, we haven't heard yet. So too busy with the IT. It was on the agenda. You know, Whose agenda? The theirs or ours? No, it was on our agenda. Yeah. Comment because we talked about it last time. We still, still haven't heard anything. I think they, let's, you know. let's move it over to the 14th. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. you should just uh, well, I think inquire. Were, yeah, yeah, I think you're more well, on to the IT. I was just going to say, they're so busy with the IT. No, no, yeah, I understand you know, that, and that's fine. Still, Unfortunately, we need that. This, this is their job. Right. Uh, like it or not, that you have to be able to multitask. And they really shouldn't be just stuck on one subject matter. So I think a friendly, re oh, friendly sorry, reminder. A friendly reminder. reminder that we, are, we look forward to hearing from them on the 14th of July. No, I, I think you tell them. That we've had to move it now to the 14th. I'm sorry, but all right. Well, hopefully they're watching. Hopefully they're watching. All Moving all it on to the 14th. Lena doesn't want to sign the letter. I will. Oh, I definitely will sign that letter. Absolutely. Oh, Motion to adjourn. Do a formal letter. Yes, I think. I Send them a formal letter, say stating that we're expecting them. We're hopeful that they will be. Um, able to give us some sort of direction Direction's relative to the, to the sign. Right. Thank you. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn by Pat. Second by John. All in favor. Good night, everyone. Have a good evening.